realise I've been thinking a lot about the concept of originality recently. So I've decided to have a discussion with myself, or more accurately, with a clone, to sort of work out my uh, feelings on the matter, really. Hey everyone, my name's Originality Clone, nice to meet you. Do you want to put on some clothes? You cloned me in your pyjamas, dude. I am pretty comfortable, and I'm gonna stay that way. Okay. Um, shall we begin? Yeah, okay. Well, some would say that originality is dead. That everything has been done before. Something you disagree with? Well, I'm not sure that I do, to be honest, because We've been telling stories for hundreds of thousands of years, and most of those stories have featured common elements, common ideas that, whether they're in China, or Europe, or Australia even, these ideas come in every single time. And even with that, we seem to have run out of ideas to a certain extent. We've run out of pure ideas, as most things over the course of our world and our, you know, current world, they're mashups. Surely not. My favourite authors and TV shows aren't copying other things, surely. In many ways they are. I mean, for example, look at this one, Warbreaker by Brandon Sanderson, one of your favourite books of this year. It's... A fantastic book is featuring a lot of really interesting ideas, but so many of those ideas have also been used in other things. The setting has been used in various different ways before. The characters are full of archetypes that have been used in other ways, other places. It's not that it's unoriginal, it's just a lot of thing ideas that have gone into this book have been used before. True, I suppose, but surely uh, things like YouTube and uh, vlogs and things, surely they have some originality still in them. Hardly. Vlogs and other videos tend to be a reflection of life, and that in itself is a repeated idea, a meme, and in fact, most people's lives have some level of commonality towards them. In that we all eat, we all sleep, we all make things and spend time with friends. I don't know that I've ever thought of it that way before. Even this video is not very original. It's copying a number of people, including, most notably, Wheezy Waiter. Be glad that I don't have an alligator pit. But that is besides the point. Originality is one goal, one possibility for our fiction. It's one goal. I would not say that it's the end goal of our fiction. And I would say that that is quality of content. And quality of content is a whole different kettle of fish. Good point. Now, go find an alligator pit. You're being too derivative. Now that he's gone, I can finish this off myself. If you look in the description down below, there is a link to a video by Nika Harper, where she gives a talk about originality and how it's not necessarily the most important thing in things for different reasons than me and Originality Clone talked about. It's a very interesting one, I've loved it for years, go check it out. But tell me your thoughts on the whole concept of originality and whether it's important or not in the comments below. Is it important at all? Is it uh, less important than the quality of the content? Or are we all just reusing hacks? I'd love to know what you think, so tell me in the comments down below. I hope that you enjoyed this video, and that the originality clone didn't put you off it with his ugly face and all. Where am I supposed to find an alligator pit anyway? I also hope that you remember to like and share this video, and that you can subscribe to my channel. If you click on the thumbnails down below, you will see other videos by me. They don't have clones in them, so I don't know whether they're as good. Anyway, I will see you guys next time. Bye.